death is no stranger to the mining communities of Wales. They've had to make a place for it in their philosophy. But a disaster such as this is beyond any limits of experience or acceptance. The Black Death has escaped its confines underground and claimed the children too. Aberfan will be remembered not only for the lost generation entombed by the moving mountain, it'll be remembered as a fearful lesson for the future. It will also be remembered for the almost superhuman response that engineered a vast army of volunteers to work without rest or pause day and night in a frantic rescue attempt. But as the hours passed, so did hope for the remaining children and teachers. By dawn on Sunday, over a hundred bodies had been brought out. Smoke still poured from fires in the buried terrace of houses, but thanks to machinery and men, the flow of water from the tip was being diverted. Sixteen houses shared the fate of the school. Over 30 people were believed to be inside. It was during Sunday that the natural spring was discovered beneath the tip. The pressure of water from this, along with the heavy rains, is thought to have turned the mountain of colliery waste into the water bomb that caused the disaster. Prince Philip walks through the devastation of Abervan, one of the many who came to share the sorrow and commiserate with the bereaved. Only the public inquiry will tell the full story, a story that intimately concerns everyone living in the shadow of similar disaster. For the moment, the story is told in these tragic pictures. <laughs> 